the Women in Leadership Body, Soul, Mind, and Business Podcast. I'm Charlie. And I'm Heather. And together we are working to connect women in leadership and business to build relationships, empowering each other, improving the health and wellness of our community, body, mind, and soul. Sharing the heart and soul of who we are and what we do. And this has been a very special week on our podcast. Oh my gosh. <sighs> this book has literally changed my life and I have so been looking forward to sharing it with you guys. We are on day four of the four agreements. Agreement. Which is agreement number, number four. four. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the last agreement. And there is more to this book. So if you have not picked up your copy of the four agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz, go check it out on our website. Uh, there's a link there www.womeninleadershipbsmb.com um this little book can and will change your life oh my gosh so <clears throat> we're really excited to share little bits and pieces of it with you uh throughout this week and this today's agreement the fourth agreement is always do your best it is the action behind the other three so just for a quick review, the first agreement is be impeccable with your word. Speaking with integrity, say only what you mean. Avoid using the word to speak against yourself or to gossip about others. Use the power of your word in the direction of truth and love. <clears throat> the second agreement, don't take anything personally. Nothing others do is because of you. What others say and do is a projection of their own reality, their own dream. When you are immune to the opinions and actions of others, you won't be the victim of needless suffering. Mm. The third agreement, don't make assumptions. <clears throat> Find the courage to ask questions and to express what you really want. Communicate with others as clearly as you can to avoid misunderstandings sadness and drama with just this one agreement you can completely transform your life and the fourth one is the action behind the other three always do your best your best is going to change from moment to moment it will be different when you are healthy as opposed to sick under any circumstance simply do your best and you will avoid self-judgment self-abuse and regret Bam. Boom. Boom. I mean, it sounds really simple. <clears throat> yeah, but um, you have to be working on the other three for it to work. And you have to work on this one to get the other three to work. Too. Yeah. They all work Good together. together. Uh, we do our best to be impeccable with our words, mm -hmm. to not take things personally, and to not make assumptions. And we feel really good about ourselves, even if we fail because we know we did our best and our best is enough your best is enough your best is enough um and again your your best will be different from time to time adjusting from when you are wide awake to when you are tired energized or exhausted happy or sad but if you are doing your best no more no less you will break so many agreements those negative ones that we make with ourselves those self-judgments, things like that, you can break those because you're no longer beating yourself up about not being enough. What if you responded to people like they were always doing their best? <clears throat> and that's a whole mindset on its own. I think right? that if you respond to people as if they're doing their best, you're not making assumptions about mm -hmm. them. Right. You're being impeccable with your word. Yeah. Right. Um, and um, they're they are more likely to be impeccable with their work and not make assumptions about you because you are treating them with the respect. Yeah. So when you're doing these things and the people around you have the option to do these things, too, it ripples. Right. It ripples. So it's pretty cool. If we are like, hey, we're talking about this and I'm going to do my best to always be my best, uh -huh. doing, showing up in my best. Uh -huh. Wow. Okay. 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 Now, um, keeping in mind that we can't be superheroes either. Dun, 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 dun. Your, That's not what you mean? No. Your best only goes so far because 
if you try to do more than your best, mm. you're causing yourself more suffering mm-hmm. because you're trying too hard, you know? So you don't have to say yes to everything. You don't have to say yes to everything. You can do your best. You can choose what you have the energy to deal with a little bit at a time. You know, you can choose this or choose that or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> and as long as you're doing your best, that is more than enough. You're going to feel better about yourself yeah, because you're not overextending yourself. You're not like trying to wipe yourself out by right. doing too much. Right. And it avoids that self-judgment. Yes. Because you did your best. Like, is there anything else you could have done differently? Maybe, but did you do your best in this situation? Yeah. yeah. And that really makes things a lot more mentally, emotionally okay within us because then we're not, again, we're not judging ourselves. Right. Right. <clears throat> and, you know, th- those self judgments, those are those little agreements that we made with ourselves or that we believed long ago like that you aren't enough those you aren't right you aren't enough whatever's you know it takes those and it you know if you're doing your best those judgments no longer exist right exactly exactly so I um, love that (laughs) I love that for all of us mm -hmm. (laughs) like just to just feel enough because you are enough already um and we all know that if you push too hard whether it be physically mentally emotionally you will eventually break yeah absolutely if you push too hard um, so being in that space of enoughness like i did my best i did enough it's okay will protect you in so many ways because it'll keep you from breaking it, that improves it, your resilience right and your flexibility and your uh, flexibility like mm-hmm. and acknowledging i'm doing my best in this situation mm-hmm. i can be proud of myself for doing my best <laughs> like life is gonna life it's gonna keep lifing right and if you're doing your best you're honoring your yourself more you are able to keep the other agreements more you know you can do more you can get further if you do your best as opposed to wear yourself out does that make sense yeah and i think doing our best doesn't mean just being complacent and staying where we are no it's okay to stretch yourself yes challenging still, yourself like is still, still doing good. your best it's still doing your best complacency is not doing your best mm-hmm. no it's different right? absolutely um <clears throat> so that is uh you know practicing that self-care piece Um, remembering that you are enough just as you are and always doing your best will reap you such amazing rewards throughout your entire life. People who always do their best are the ones that get noticed. You know, oh, you know, um, this is the student who's always doing their best. They might not have great grades, but, you know, the their people around them attitude yeah. the way they show up mm-hmm. like the things that you do to be to to help yourself be at your best mm-hmm. right like requires self-care it requires self-care yeah it requires taking the time mm-hmm. it requires acknowledging hey i'm not at 100 percent today mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. and that goes back to the doing your best will change depending yeah. on the day depending on how you're feeling depending on where you're at mentally emotionally physically and some days doing your best for that day simply means you're still breathing yeah right gratitude for a breath (laughs) amen Mm -hmm. still here maybe it's celebrating putting your socks and shoes on right 
you know, um, sometimes things can get really, really hard and your best is always going to be good enough. Don't let anybody tell you when you're like, well, I'm doing my best. And they're like, well, your best isn't good enough. I feel like you yeah, need to go now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> your best is good enough. That is um, not who you need to um, surround yourself with. And that's part of facing our fears, mm-hmm. which we're talking about this week too, is like you face that fear the best mm-hmm. you can. If, if, if you are doing your best and the people around you are not acknowledging that, not seeing that, or coming back at you with the making you feel like you're not doing your best when you are, um, it's okay to change the relationship with those people. Yeah. Yeah. I, some I people jobs don't, over less. don't have the capacity to hold the space for you to create these changes for yourself mm-hmm. because they're stuck themselves into a box. Mm-hmm. You and, have value. Right. And if they're down in the box, they can only see what's right in front of them. They can't see over the lid and see how much value you're providing by not being in the box. Mm-hmm. So remember, you know, not taking their words personally, mm-hmm. you know, remembering, practicing your best to practice these things so that you aren't taking things personally, mm-hmm. right? Right. Because it's the practice of that. And that taking things personally, that's that self-judgment again. Yeah. Right. That's another one of those agreements, right? Don't take things personally. And we do, we tend to take things personally, Um, especially those of us who have gone through different types of trauma. Right, because we don't like to see things disrupted, right? Right. Like we're trying to keep all the eggs in their little pedestals and keep them from falling already, you know? (laughs) Yeah. And sometimes it can definitely feel like you've got like, a tower of eggs on a platter and you're like roller skates (laughs) yes i am seeing dr seuss with green eggs and ham you like the Um, where he has it unicycle yeah he's totally that book like you know defying gravity with with this thing that is that we're carrying well that's what we do to ourselves yeah when we're yeah that's why we have to do our best to show up for ourselves every day every day Every day. Every day. And that goes with this uh, week's sutra topic, which is tapas. It's that practicing co- positive change. Practicing causing positive change. Okay. You're going to feel that heat of resistance. Mm-hmm. It's not going to be comfortable. Right. At first. You know, it takes practice, right? That's why they call it practice. And the more you um, bump up against that heat of resistance, the more it gets warmer, right? And the more it pushes you back at you and the more you push back Mm -hmm. and then eventually it like starts fire, right? Right. And that fire puts you on a new level for yourself. Uh And oh, that's so cool. And uh, melting away old habits. Yeah. Creating new positive habits, creating that positive change you know, reduces those negative habits, you know, so what? we're creating, you mean if I focus on the positive stuff, the negative stuff, the time that starts to go away. Right. And we're creating new neural it. pathways in our brains, which, that, which blows happiness. my mind all the time. Like how many neural pathways we can create and we can have some control over mm-hmm. making our brains light up like, mm-hmm. and be excited for life. Mm-hmm. Um, This week's quote is practice causing positive change. Make a change. Feel the heat of resistance. Melt away old habits and burn through ruinous conditioning. Offer negative behavior into the fire of tapas and chart your course toward freedom. Nikolai Bachman, who's the author of our sutra book. Yeah freedom (laughs) we got this um you know and our mindset topic this week is face your fears this stuff incorporating these things into your life can be scary right 
can be very scary because again, we're creating new habits, creating new pathways. It's uncomfortable thing, you know, um, but we are facing those fears in order to be better humans. Yes. Yeah. Every time that we face a fear, I mean, I used to say that I wanted to be fearless, um, you know, watching like teens, young teens, mm -hmm. the way they just fierce, they're fierce and they just move through life. They, they don't have this fear or resistance. That's what being fearless to me is like, but fear is a natural emotion. Mm -hmm. It comes up, it happens. So even if I have the fear, it's doing it anyways. Mm -hmm. Like just because I have it doesn't mean that, that it has to be the roadblock. And that fear comes from a, some kind of negative experience. Because it's from like trying to protect yourself. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I mean. It's, it's self -pr uh, preservation is where fear comes from. But sometimes it's very realistic, like the hot stove. Yeah. And sometimes it's unrealistic because we're afraid that somebody else is going to judge us. So if you think about it, like, is someone going to burn us with a stove if I say this thing? Yeah, it sounds ridiculous, right? Yeah, it sounds ridiculous, but that's the friction it's creating in us, right? Mm -hmm. Is that hot stove reaction. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing, fight or flight. Yeah. Yeah. It's the sure. same. And um, you wow. mentioned the um, fearless. And over here on the wall, it says faith over fear. Mm -hmm. And... Um, we chose that for the wall because we believe that our faith is stronger than our fear. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, and we try to maintain that. I also have another word up top. It says fearless. Um, because to me, fearless means um, being afraid, but doing it anyway. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because it doesn't mean that I don't feel the fear or yeah. don't have it like right. I, it would be unrealistic to, to to go for being no fear right 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 I'm not fear I'm not without fear I'm fear less yeah I have less fear right and you know what to do when you feel it you have a plan yeah we're gonna do it anyways oh right. yeah and, and <laughs> You know, fear can be a good thing. Again, ask yourself, why is yeah. this, why does this fear exist? Am I actually going to have this repercussion that I've imagined it up in my head if this happens? Or is it just in my head and it's imaginary? The right? reality check <clears throat> through all the things, right? Mm -hmm. Through the mm -hmm. things. And if you are afraid to do something based on the fear on how somebody else will react, um, you've already put that on them. If that makes any sense. You've already decided for them. Yeah. You've already prejudged yourself on how they would judge you. Yeah. Wow. So it's really hurting yourself. It's just really hurting. Yourself. And really we are all meant to be here to share mm -hmm. our things with each other. Like mm -hmm. as part of, uh, existence and, um, for me to help get over that, it was this, this isn't about me. Mm -hmm sometimes it's for me mm -hmm. sometimes like you know talking about doing our best and not over being an overachiever mm -hmm. who right boy do I judge myself hard it's really easy to judge ourselves because we feel like we're not doing our best when we are because of other people's, other people's expectations, expectations in the past it's a whole thing it's a whole but when I step out here, our mission is to show you that one, you can also do this. You mm -hmm. can get in front of the camera or you can get on a podcast and talk to people that you can show up. This message isn't just for us. No. Um, you know, we spend a lot of time doing these things just for us. Yeah. Do not talking about them. Mm -hmm. um, going on this parallel journey of self-discovery. And um, this is where it led us because we, when we come together and we realize we were both doing these learning processes and both trying to grow in this way. And it felt so lonely mm -hmm. that it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be where and life's not meant to together. be together. No. Yeah. Right. And, um, 
incorporating these tools into our lives and and seeing how they've been working within us to make us better people um and we also realize that these tools also need to be shared with all of you you know um because we feel like it's a message that needs to get out there in the world that you are enough right as you are if i wasn't already enough i wouldn't be led to be here mm -hmm. to show you that you're already enough right you are already enough you are already enough <sighs> that being said mm. don't forget about the boogie bin we have extended the, this cause of the quarter a couple of weeks. Just yeah. we're going to do a little transition here. And um, we're very excited. Um, so make sure you check their website and their links. Um, make sure you're donating to them. It's a really great cause. Mm -hmm. And as entrepreneurs, it's important that we remember um, those great causes. So here at the podcast, um, we uh, feel it's important to have a cause every quarter that we're giving back and talking about amazing things in our communities and um, how, what that looks like and if you don't have a boogie bin near you if you're not in the uh, Snohomish County area please uh, reach out to your local animal shelters or um, community and see what is available as far as uh, donations of gently used and new pet supplies and animal supplies for those types of causes um, you know there, there's enough abundance for everybody there's absolutely enough to go, absolutely. go around enough love to go around. Absolutely. Um, um, be sure to check out our website so you don't miss a darn thing. Okay. Right, Lots right. of things are happening. We've got the community calendar on there. Uh -huh. It's a great place to find all the different books that we've been reading. We've got the four agreements on there. We've got the uh, path of the yoga sutras on there. And we have 52 small changes for the mind for our mindset Mondays all on there. Yes. It's pretty cool. So that's www dot women in leadership bsmb dot com and um you know there's lots and lots of things happening um and next week is another special week um it's book week but book week in that we have a different book every single day next week we do different authors yes uh, authors who have actually been guests on our show so we can't wait so for our you to find out all about their books yeah our and community of authors that's so cool i love it cool. I, I, I've learned so much from our community and I love it so much. And I have goosebumps about all these amazing people and souls that are doing so many great things. And thank you for connecting um, with the heart and soul of what you do and letting us share that with the world. So I hope um, you have a great weekend and you um, join us soon. Yeah. Thank you for joining us on the Women in Leadership, Body, Mind, Soul and Business podcast. Namaste. Namaste. Mwah. Mwah.